Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on with another DIY. Yes, I am. I'm always coming on with DIYs, aren't I? <laughs> Anyways, I have another fun filled one to share with you guys today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> I hope you hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you get notified every time I upload another DIY and I hope you do come back and watch some more yes I do <laughs> and if you are one of my returning subscribers <laughs> thank you so much you know I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart yes I do <laughs> all right everyone let's get into the items we'll be using for today's DIY Alright everyone, here are the items that we are using, so you know what time it is, it's time to let's get started! Alright, we have our candle holder here from the Dollar Tree with our Mod Podge and some crushed glass. And we're just going to add the Mod Podge all over our candle holder and then apply the crushed glass. Now with the first coat of the crushed glass, we are going to get some that will fall off, but that's okay. We're going to come back in with a second coat and in between each coat, we're going to let it dry 15 to 20 minutes and then apply the second coat and then fill up our candle holder all the way to the top and then they can sit for about an hour until they're dry. And now we have our butterfly candle holder, which I spray painted in silver. If you remember, it was gold. Now it's silver and we're going to bling it out with these gems and I am using some hot glue to place down our gems and like I always tell you, you can use any adhesive that you would like to do for your project. And now we are going to use some more Mod Podge, add some more crushed glass and bling out our butterfly candle holder. And I will only be placing one coat of the crushed glass onto our butterfly. Now here's our butterfly with the one coat. I'm going to add these sparkles and they are the larger sparkle flakes so I'm just going to add the Mod Podge and sprinkle the sparkles and now our candle holder is dry so it's time to add our pieces together which I'll be using some E6000 and some hot glue and with this tall um, candle holder or vase that I got from the Dollar Tree just adding the two pieces together here's the finished look for our butterfly candle holders I think they look so nice. I like how they looked all blinked out. And we have the gems and we also have the crushed glass. I think they look really nice. nice and easy it is to take things from the Dollar Tree and just fix them up a little bit more and they look elegant like you bought them out of an expensive store <laughs> I love how they turned out and here is our tall candle holder I think it looks very nice I love the crushed glass being only on the bottom it gives the candle holder a nice clean 
and crisp and fresh look. I think it looks super elegant all by itself. I didn't have to do anything to the top part because it just stands out on its own. I think it looks lovely. And you know what you guys, I made two. But when I was lifting them up to move them from one table to the next, one fell out of my hand and the top part broke. OMG. I was so disappointed. But you know what? I'm going to go back to the dollar store and buy back one of the vase because just the top part broke. Because I think it looks really lovely. It looks elegant and nice. I love it. I love how it turned out. With just the crushed glass on the bottom. And now we have our two butterfly candle holders and I'm just gonna put some candles in them so I can light them up and show you how they look. And this is how they look with the lights off. Don't they look nice? OMG. I think they look super cute, yes. <laughs> they look really nice with the candles. <laughs> and you know what, they make a nice statement piece all by themselves. Even just to use as a display anywhere throughout your home, they look lovely. And then the candle just gives that added touch. And you can use tea light candles in them if you like, but I chose to use a little taller candles. I think it looks much more nicer like that. Alright everyone, tell me what you think of my candle holders that I did for you guys today and I hope you get a chance to make some for yourself. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. <laughs> and you know what, give me a thumbs up. Press that like button. <laughs> and thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I did today. I really appreciate you taking the time to click on my video and spend just a few minutes with me. <laughs> All right, everyone. Remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. And I will catch you on the next one.